Hello friends. In this video, I want to show you one of, if not my most hated vacuum cleaners of all time. Brace yourself. <laughs> Before we jump into this, let's just take a second and pause to consider how great Panasonic once was. They sold vacuum cleaners in this country from whew, at least 1981 um, under the Nas National Panasonic and sometimes just National, um, and in fact, probably pre 81, now that I think of it. The, the, the one that sort of immediately springs to mind is the jet flow upright, which I think was from 81, possibly 80, 80, 81, something like that. Um, and then we had the amazing 40 series of upright cleaners from 1986. 40 series were fantastic and they went on for years. I think they were sold until at least 19, 1996, I think, possibly. I'm not entirely sure on the dates. Then the 40 series was replaced by the 400 series, which were again wonderful, wonderful cleaners. And then, uh, then we got the, the later ones, the funnier ones, I can't really remember what model number they were, but they were all based on the 400. It, uh, it was very much um, a similar style, the 400, the 450, the 455. They were fantastic cleaners. Panasonic's history is on the whole marvellous, really, really good vacuum cleaners. And in fact, my friend Jeff, who owned the shop down in Penzance in Cornwall, he would only ever sell Panasonic and uh, pneumatic cleaners because he believed, and quite, quite rightly so, they were the best vacuum cleaners you could get for your money at a certain price point. You think about a, a hundred pounds. Um, and you know, obviously the, the value of a hundred pounds has changed a lot between 86 and 2020. But he always, always had a Henry and a Panasonic 41 or 41N in stock in the window. And there were occasionally some other machines but those were the two main ones that he used to sell because yeah they were really good for the amount of money you paid you got a really really good va vacuum cleaner so it's very strange for me to sit here and tell you that one of if not if possibly my most hated vacuum cleaners is a Panasonic and it's this one here and I'm just I, like oh my god Oh God, I, this is this is one of the videos where I've kind of filmed it in reverse because I had to go over to my mum's earlier. It's uh, Sunday, so I always go and see my mum on Sunday and um, I usually take a vacuum cleaner with me to do her cleaning for her, just to vacuum her house. And she, she struggles a bit now. Um, and I thought, okay, this is ideal. I'll take this Panasonic with me and I can vacuum mum's house with it. Well, oh, oh my life. Okay, I think my feelings for this cleaner are summed up in the very last section at the end of the video where I've just finished vacuuming her lounge carpet. Um, I think that scene speaks for itself. Oh, but anyway, deep breath. Let's check it out. Well, here it is. Here is the offending creature in all its horrendous glory. Now this, I, I can barely look at it. I can barely look at it. I hate it. I hate this cleaner. It's, it's unbelievable how much I actually do. It is horrendous. And it's not for the reason that I, you know, because I've done previous videos where I've said, this is the worst vacuum cleaner ever and that there was a, a, a series of those and the reason those cleaners are the worst vacuum cleaners ever because they're terrible quality really low quality horrendous pieces of rubbish the quality of this cleaner is actually pretty good 
the bill quality is fine. It's good. It's good. It's solid. You know, it's a good, it's good quality solid plastic. And look, check this out. A wooden brush roll as well. That is an actual proper wooden brush roll with really good um, bristles on it. A massive track. The track on this is huge. Look at it. It's like it's an extra two inches. I put it up against um, Electrolux 5 h s upstairs, and you, you've got an extra two inches here, and an extra two inches makes a big difference. And it really does on this cleaner. This power head is huge, but but there's a big problem with it. It's not what it's made of, it's the way it's made. It's just the execution of it that is really bad on this cleaner. I can kind of see what they were going for, but how they went about it was horrendous for numerous reasons, which I will talk you through now. And I'll actually show you when you see the cleaner in use, you will you will you will totally get it. You're like, oh yeah, okay. Mainly, it's the power head. And the fact as well that the cleaner does not have built-in tools and how it goes about overcoming the fact that it does not have built-in tools. So let's talk about this power head. I bring this over to you here so you can see it. Now look, look, there's very little support here on this top body and any small movement just makes the cleaner fall over. It, it, just, it just wants to fall over. If you tilt it just slightly wrong it just it goes it just falls over and I, I i stood it here earlier so i could do the intro to the um video and it was it was falling over backwards it takes nothing there's virtually nothing here to make this cleaner fall over it that is what it just wants to do fall over all the time and it is such a pain it is ridiculous. Why would you make a vacuum cleaner, an upright vacuum cleaner, that wants to fall over? It's so stupid and so frustrating. So not only that, but we have this terrible height control system here, which you have to push down like that to vary the... See, look, look at that. You barely need to do anything, look. And it falls over. So what's that on now? What height is that on? And the stupid, this, it's got this little window here. God, I can't even make it stay up. And you can barely see down through it. So that's on medium now, and then you press it again, and it changes the height. Hi! Then it goes to extra low, and it's like, the, the heights are really daft. There's no rhyme or reason to them. It's either too low or too high. There's no good setting for it. It's also extremely powerful. The suction measure on this is unbelievably powerful it's um uh, a thousand watts um i'm just looking here on the back oh i should probably say what the model number is shouldn't i it's a mc ug614 made in mexico and that kind of sums it up um i think it's, it's from approximately 2005 they're very short-lived these cleaners because they were so horrendous they, they didn't make them for very long yeah, this uh, and it's an Ecomax light, and that is a lie. It is not light at all. I don't know if you can hear the banging coming from next door. Sorry about that. Um, if you can, oh, my neighbours are doing something. It's not light at all. It's actually quite heavy. You compare it to an Auric, say that is light. An Auric is light. This is not light. This is actually quite bulky. But oh god, I hate it. I just hate it. I to, even looking at it, I just, I just hate it. So this stupid height control mechanism. Then you've got this stupid like pivot point here which just takes nothing to pull the machine over and it falls over. And it falls over backwards as well. And it's just, oh, it's ridiculous. But the, I think, I think personally the worst thing is A, the lack of tools, and B, how you're supposed to use the tools. This, this is where it goes from ridiculous into farcical. See, I thought it was gonna fall over then. Absolutely farcical. So we have this little um, hose port here. So there's this little flap thing, and this is so stiff. Like, oh God, how, how are you meant to get that open easily? You just, you can't, it's ridiculous. 
So this opens up and it shows the hose port here and you're meant to put the hose in, in this point and then you can do your above the floor cleaning. But it's not just that, you don't just have to put the hose in the back, you have to do something else too. Now I'll show you actually the, um, the hose in use a bit later on. I attempt to do the bottom step of mum's staircase. Well, oh my God, <laughs> just wait. Just wait, just wait. So with this cleaner, you didn't get um, tools in the back. Oh no, 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 nothing that sensible. No, you've got a tote bag with it. You've got a tote bag here in which you are meant to keep your tools, right? So <laughs> it's just laughable, isn't it? Who else does this? This is ridiculous. So in said tote bag, you get a selection of rubbish tools. One of the heaviest hoses I have ever seen, which is like a triple stretch. So it really, yeah, it really, really stretches out. And you get a, oh, it's like a lucky dip. Crevice tool. And an AP tool with a brush on it. And you can also take the brush off. <laughs> you wait till I try and use this. Oh my god. Oh. The worst, literally the worst mini turbo tool I have ever seen. This is just, I mean, you may as well yeet this straight in the bin because this thing is utterly pointless. It is so cheap and so nasty that there is no point to this tool whatsoever. And finally, in your tote bag, you get this bizarre piece of plastic. Now, unless you read the book that came with this cleaner, you wouldn't know what this is for. But I'll show you what this is for now, and uh, you'll see it in use later. I kind of, um, I sort of repeat myself, sorry about that. That's what comes from filming it out of sequence. Let's get rid of that. <sighs> I'm gonna put the whole damn thing in the bin. What you're meant to do, <laughs> it's just it's funny. It makes me laugh, it does, because it's so ridiculous. You're meant to take this piece of plastic and you are meant to insert it into the power head. And you put it here. So it goes under the height control pedal. I'm just gonna tilt it forward. It goes in here and then it locks in place. So then you have this ridiculous situation where you have an extra bit of plastic sticking out the back of your vacuum cleaner and then you put the hose in. Oh, God. You put the hose in again, again, I'll show you this later when I'm actually using it. This goes in like so and locks in place. Now you think, so, oh, okay, right, brilliant. Awesome, that's great. Now I can use this and I can do my above the floor cleaning. This is great. But what happens when you pull on this hose. So the machine is like designed now to not fall over backwards. So that's basically what this is doing. And then look, look at that. Any movement, any movement on this hose and you're going over. You're, go you're going over some, that's it. Game over. Look at that. And that's what happened to me when I tried to use this. Check it out, you you you'll see it. I try and put it this way, it'll just go over. Look, any, just bang, smash, down. What, how stupid, how s utterly, unbelievably stupid is this? I, I've i never seen anything like it. It is the worst execution of putting tools in an upright vacuum cleaner I have ever seen. Just put something here on the power head, like a, um, a, a something to go in here or maybe higher up on the back or give it some better wheels. Just don't do it like this. It's just awful. Oh. Do you know, it's not often like I'm stuck for words, but to try and, to try and get over to you, my disgust and dislike of this vacuum cleaner is almost impossible. I can't really say any more on it. And I'm sick to the back teeth of looking at it, frankly. I need to put it back up in the attic where it came from and there it will stay because I am never 
going to use this cleaner ever again. So whilst it lies here like a ridiculous piece of crap, which it is, I'm going to go and lie down in a darker room. I am going to try and calm down. And I will leave you with me struggling to clean some carpets with this piece of rubbish. As ever, thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to do the commenting, liking, sub subscribing as per usual, because it really, really helps me out. There's one other thing I just want to say. Today, because this is Sunday, I uh, published the Kellner 1400 video. Um, but I also, yesterday, I filmed um, the after video of it, which you should, which you, you will have seen on Wednesday. So that was going out on Wednesday. I think this video is going out next Friday. Um, and obviously, I hadn't had any responses from the unboxing video of the Kellner by, by the point that I'd um, filmed it again once it was fixed, if that makes any sense. I, I, I know what I'm trying to say. Um, but I just wanted to say in this video, thank you so much to everyone who commented on that video to tell me that it was from uh, the Czech Republic or Czechoslovakia, as it was, and it was sold in um, mail order catalogues. It was sold in Finland as well. It was re released under the... ETA brand. Just a massive amount of info on that cleaner, which was a complete mystery to me, but the mystery is now solved thanks to you guys, and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate that. So as I say, you go off and um, enjoy me suffering using this piece of crap, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.
Right, so we're now going to try and use this dreadful vacuum cleaner to try and do some above the floor cleaning. So I've got the hose here, which you've already seen, and here's this very strange adapter, um, which is like on the side, just a bit on the side. It's, oh, it's really odd. So the first thing we have to do is remember this piece of plastic that I showed you. So this is the support bracket. This is, that is so stupid. So we need to tilt the cleaner forward and insert this piece of plastic in here just under the height adjust puddle, puddle, pedal. So that then support, uh, creates a base for it so that the machine won't tilt backwards. So that, that's what that's doing. However, <laughs> the handle doesn't lock, so the flipping handle just flops and falls everywhere and the cleaner falls over anyway. Oh my God, this is such rubbish. And then you can open this hose port like so. I actually, I tried to do this earlier and I got a blood blister on my finger. Look at that, that manky. And that's this, this stupid machine caused that. So we open the hose port, now we need to put the hose in. So I guess it goes this way, like that. How does it go in? Which way does it go, is it like that? Oh, there we go. Right, so that's in now. So the hose is in. And now if we turn it on. Oh. And we've got a turbo head. I just have to say, this is like the worst quality turbo head I've ever seen in my life. Look at it. Just look at it. It's awful. Oh my God, it is horrendous. The quality of this is just non-existent. Terrible. Anyway, let's try and give it a go. So when you try to do a above the floor cleaning, this is, is what you get. This is what you end up with. This stupid cleaner that's fallen over, knocked over a plant. The tools are useless. That turbo nozzle is utterly, utterly useless. It does absolutely nothing. It just stops whenever you put it on the carpet. The AP tool is impossible to push because it just sticks itself to it. And then you end up with this, this utter complete mess. What? Oh my God. God, look at, look at it. Just look at it, guys. 
What an absolutely atrocious piece of rubbish this cleaner is. Oh, I'm going to put it in the bin.